I'm 70 years old. I've lived here for pretty near, you know, this summer it'll be 49 years. Uh, farmed this ranch all my life. My brother and I own it 50-50. We bought it in August of 59. It's getting harder and harder with these new regulations coming down the pike. You have your EPA that wants to, with this new Senate bill, wants to impose a dust regulation. When you plow, disc, harrow, or combine a field, and dust flies out when you're farming. If you're gonna be a farmer, you have to farm and under these confusing regulations is what I'll put it. It's getting tougher every year. Some of your new regulations coming down the pike on uh, your chemicals you apply. EPA come out with this new one. They want to keep tabs on every gallon or quart of chemical you have in your shop, warehouse, garage, or whatever. They want to try to put a cow tag for the methane expulsion. I call it the burp and fart tax because when a cow chews their cud, they belch, which belches out methane, and when they fart, that's another methane release. The the gas expulsion tax on dairy cows and beef cows gonna run right at 150 to 170 to five dollars per head. That's got to be passed on the consumer. This new animal identification system. The cost for the identification system would probably be anywhere from 50 to $100 a head. Uh, they want you to fence off little cricks like this. And there's one over here behind me. And uh, this main irrigation ditch down here, uh, fencing off livestock. And on this ranch, if you took in all the little ditches and creeks that run through the property, not only the land you would lose to pasture or other production, it would cost us thousands of dollars to do that. So if you had to fence off all these cricks on the ranch, you take this one right here, you'd have to start at that fence and go Cross the creek, go 25 to 50 feet up that hill, and you'd lose that much production of hay ground or pasture, whichever we've used for both. And then the main irrigation ditch, we'd have to fence that on both sides, and we'd lose quite a bit of ground because we'd have to fence it off wide enough to get equipment along there to clean the canal. And uh, other creeks up on the hill, we would lose a lot of acreage up there. I mean, uh, we'd lose almost a third of uh, 32 acres to fence it off and do what the government wanted us to. This is supposed to be our land, private property, and yet the government comes in and tries to tell us how to farm it. The government's supported reason for fencing off the cricks, they don't want the cows to poop in the cricks, along the cricks, and whatever. Well, what's the government gonna do about their cricks up in the woods and uh, the hills, all the elk, the deer, 
the bear, the coon, the muskrat, the coyotes, are they going to fence all of them animals away from the cricks? I mean, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I don't believe in any of this bureaucracy. The farmer, the rancher, the landowner, I don't care how big or small you are, is going to be regulated to death.